All right, man. So we just got some blood worms on this rig. Um, I deployed that shallow water anchor just because we couldn't hold bottom with our actual anchor. The wind is just too strong today. Um, so we're going to have to just kind of blind cast to where I believe the hole is that I'm, you know, aiming to fish. But put that in the rod holder and I'll uh, keep an eye on it. All right, it looks like we were getting a hit on this rod. Literally just put it out. See that? Oh, there we go. First fish of the day. Not big, I guess, white perch. Yep, juvenile white perch. All right, man, there's life here. That's like a perfect catfish bait right there. We might live line that guy. We're just getting a hit. Got him. Oof, this one's tiny. Lord, look at that guy. Man, I don't think they come any smaller than that. Huh? Where there's small ones, there must be big ones. All right, try and keep our options open. I got blood worms already out there. I'm gonna throw a sabiki rig with shrimp on it. And all I'm doing is just hooking them in like that. And then I'm gonna pitch it, I don't know. 10, 15 feet away from the kayak, and we'll see if anything is uh, interested in it. Getting a hit on the sabiki rig. Oh, it's so small, but oh man, another little perch. All right, man, I had to move. The wind was just uh not really doing us any justice it kept blowing the kayak um in, in the wrong direction so i'm gonna keep moving up river maybe we'll find a deep hole that we could uh try and position ourselves on oh there we go there we go oh no catfish look at that that was right under the boat No shortage of these little white catfish, I'll tell you what. Look at that. Oh, just was getting hits. Oh, there it is. Got him. There we go. There we go, man. Now we're going in the right direction. Not a giant, but definitely in the better direction. goes so what i ended up doing was i strung together my anchor line to give me a little bit more line now i'm actually in 11 feet of water um where these fish seem to be sitting right now before we were you know maybe seven eight feet to the left and casting now i'm just dropping straight down uh honestly if you're fishing up and down you're gonna have more success than if you're fishing you know casting away just because the scope of the line, setting the hook and all that good stuff. Starting to see life on the screen. Oh, as I say that, we get a fish. Um, you can see these little marks, very small marks. It's funny how as soon as I saw that, we had a fish. Um, all right. Just had a weird knock. Yep, there it is again. That felt like a small perch. You know it's a small fish if you can't even see it on the depth finder. Very finicky though. Look at that. That might... Got him. That might not be a perch. Yeah, I was going to say, it was a... That glom and hit almost telltale sign that you know it's not going to be a perch. Oh, look at that. Another cat, I think. Yeah, the catfish are coming up, coming in uh, numbers now. Oh, that quick, look at that. That's, that tells me that's a perch, that little, little perch. Bite's definitely picking up as the tide's moving. Starting to actually see more life on the screen as well. 
can always tell when I'm about to get a hit because I start to see, hopefully that, and just as I say that, I start to see life on the screen. You start to see those little marks on the bottom. Now I had my blood worm rot dead stick and literally felt like there was something on it. Oh yeah, huh. Look at that, freaking double header. Oh. That one was pretty quick. Now, I do have those minnows down there. I haven't seen anything hit that rod yet. Grass, grass shrimp and the blood worm seem to be the ticket so far today. But some of the biggest perch I've ever caught in my life were on minnows. Yeah, there's a good, good looking bait. We'll drop that down. There's actually a really nice mark right under the boat right now. Actually, a couple of marks. I'm hoping that some bigger fish have moved in. Got him. Another perch. Oh, something hitting the minnow rod. Look at that. I'm here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Caught a another perch on a minnow so that's a good sign man because minnows are a lot easier to come by than uh grass shrimp are in the dead of winter drop it back down definitely uh felt the head on the jig oh there we go there we go that's a nice one look at that that's a stud that's what we're talking about man That is what I'm talking about. Now that's not a huge perch, but that's definitely eating size right there. I'm gonna let him go.